nailed it right there. We finally found you, Pluto. There's no escape. Oh, Jesus. There they are. Whoa! Watch it, punk. Oh, no. My gigantic, well-defined arms and legs are giving out. I can't let it end like this. I need to find a hiding place. In that hole, right there. Hey, you there. <sighs> Please, lend me your assistance. Huh? Oh, uh, well, uh, hurry! I don't have much time! You need a place to hide, huh? How about in that hole? This one. Aha! I got it! In this hole, right here. You can rest easy now, I got this all under control. You can hide in this hole, right here. Okay, that should do it. Shoot, they're coming! Quick, everyone, act natural! Hoof! <sighs> Hoof! <sighs> Dang it, we lost them! Hey, you kids! We're looking for a high-profile and very expensive rogue planet named Pluto. He's a big, circular, grayish guy with huge, bulging muscles. He's kind of a hunk, if I do say so myself. Kind of hard to miss. Have you seen him? Uh... Um... No, can't say we have. Really? Well, that's life. Come on, dude, let's keep searching. We'll find him eventually. How did they lose him so quickly? They were right on his trail. Okay, sir, the coast is clear. I knew it! Right in the hole. I don't know why the potted plant was necessary. <laughs> Such quick thinking. I'm impressed. You have my eternal gratitude. What are your names, if I may ask? Well, I'm Hiro, and these are my friends Aubrey, Kel, and Amori. I see. Fine names for fine young people. Oh, stop it, you. My name is Pluto, and I am a rogue planet. A vagabond, if you will. I do apologize for causing everyone so much trouble. Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry, you big old hunk. But I feel that it is not my purpose to act as a mere yard decoration. Oh, I want the freedom to roam the sky as I please, like the birds and the stars. If that makes me a rogue planet, then so be it. They can call me what they please, as long as I'm free to do as I please. Well, such huge aspiration aspirations, aspirations for such a small planet. You understand, don't you, children? W whoa Kel, are you crying? <laughs> Such raw emotion. I'm touched. <laughs> you said it, Kel. Look, you even got Bup Cube crying. I can't believe it. It's okay, dude. Take it easy. You'll be fine. Now, at long last, I'm finally free to follow my lifelong dream of running my own transportation company. I'm gonna call it Pluto Spaceline. <laughs> I'm getting like Bowser vibes from this dude. I kind of like it. And since you have helped me in such a selfless way, I must return the favor. Free food. I want the free food. Give me the free food. That's all I ask. I am Pluto of Pluto Spaceline now. Please pretend you have just arrived at a transportation station. Oh, okay. Doing some LARPing, I see. Uh, hello? Pluto? Greetings from Pluto Spaceline! Where would you like to go today, young travelers? God. Oh, was that too much? Hmm. I should try to tone it down. Uh, yeah, you think? Let's try this again. No, it's okay, we just like to go back to the campsite, please. So, you want to go to the other world campsite? Ah, my first request. Better get a tattoo of it, don't want to forget. How exciting! Oh no, here it comes. <laughs> One ride to Otherworld Campsite coming right up. I won't let you down, young travelers. Leave the rest to me. I hope he just flings us, just throws us. Oh my god, that's actually what they're gonna do. Is everyone strapped in? No! Wait, hold on, I'm not ready yet. Punt him. Kick him right out. Jeez. Greetings and welcome to Pluto Spaceline. Where will your journey take you today? We just said, dude. So you want to go to the other world? No, actually. Didn't you say you wanted to go to the other world campsite? Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. This one's on me. Free rides? That's better than free food. Hell yeah. We're just a bunch of freeloaders today. I love it. <laughs> How is that for a smooth ride? Comfortable environment and relaxing music. I'd give it five out of five stars. <sighs> Says you. I can't even feel my arms anymore. Farewell, children. Until next time. And there they go. Oh yeah, we should probably return the cassette now, huh? All right. So which way was it again? It's up this way or something. All right. Hello, Captain. We got your shitty music. We got your vaporwave. Well, I'll be. You kids really did it. It's a little dirty, but that's our missing special mixtape for sure. 
Thanks a lot, my guy. With this, we'll finally be able to wake up Space Boyfriend. Hey, they've remembered his name this time. They're making progress, too. Actually, about that, we might have some bad news. We heard a rumor that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart, well, that they broke up. What? Did they really? For real this time? Oh, no. But that would mean that there's no point in playing him the special mixtape anymore. All hope is lost. Hey, Space Boyfriend, we got your special mixtape back! Oh no. Oh, I know, I'll blast his special mixtape on his boombox. He's gotta wake up to that. In that case, we should probably get rid of that special mixtape after all. Listening to the songs might be way too emotional for him. Give it here, Amori, I'll keep it safe. Oops. Hero reaches into your pocket. Huh? Where is it? Uh oh. Cal, what are you doing? No! Wakey wakey, space boyfriend! Uh oh, I got a bad feeling about this. What is that infernal racket? Oh god. Darn it, Cal, look what you did! <laughs> Fear me, for I have awakened! <laughs> One second. No, oh, well that was easy. <laughs> Much better. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Foolish children. I must thank you for bringing me out of that pathetic state. I grew tired of lying in bed pretending to be sick. Like I always say, feelings are for losers. <laughs> that wench sweetheart. She's gonna pay for leaving me. I did everything for her. I gave everything to her. Everything. You hear me? How could we not? You're speaking so loud. That ungrateful little... Ah. Ah! Just forget it! Forget everything! I'm going to find Sweetheart, and I'm gonna make her pay! Five whole dollars! Sorry, but we can't let you do that, Space Boyfriend. Or should I say... Space X Boyfriend! <laughs> Interesting. You want to challenge me? Do you even know who I am? I am Captain of the Space Pirates. I control all the planets in the solar system and have the ability to fly through space at will! Yeah, well, you didn't seem to be controlling Pluto a while back, so not sure what to tell you. Blah, blah, blah. Talk all you want. We're not scared of you. If you plan on going around and causing trouble, you're gonna have to get through us first. Huh. <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be. If you still insist on stopping me, I'm afraid we'll just have to settle this the hard way. I'll take all of you on! I am not ready for this. This is probably gonna be hard. Whoa, anime time thing. Can't run? Didn't want to anyways. Okay, I think just regular attacks for now is probably the way to go. Legs. Never do that. I guess we'll just use the stabby juice now. To the distance. You know what? I'll heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll actually heal. This man looks like the typical anime protagonist that everyone simps for. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> no! Ah! My rage cannot be contained. You cannot... That's not a word I'm reading. Can no longer become happy or sad. Okay, well... Just attack. You're fine. You need a drink up, dude. Saving up the points. I want to do the big boy attack. Okay. Just waiting to fill up the juice meter. The big one at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, you can eat, I guess. Stupid mortal. You can do the good old healing. Okay, good thing. It was not a waste of a turn. Just good. Ah, How are you still moving? I... I won't let you defeat me. Oh, they enraged! New emotions unlocked? Alright. Sing sadly. That's fine. Okay, we have enough points now. Bone. No, I hit the wrong button. Okay. My fat ass fingers hit the right button instead of down. Out of my way, earthly scum. This is your last chance. Fur <laughs> he became fur. Oh, he's pissed. Um, you're depressed. Maybe you should, like, not be depressed. Happy on all friends. That's probably useful. We'll use that. Okay. Oh, wait, holy shit, Amori is actually happy for once. How did I not notice that? Amori is actually cracking a smile. This is crazy. 
I say we just keep going. Yeah, they're almost dead. This would be the last attack, I think. <laughs> this space protagonist has some plot armor. Nah, they're dead. Ugh, my heart! It hurts! I wonder why. Woo! And Amori's back to being depressed. 1,500x? That's sick. Got a free eye patch. Sick. I know how to twirl now. I know how to throw curveballs. I know how to smile. Yo. I'm surprised that he doesn't have some Super Saiyan form. I'm glad that they don't. Huh? What happened? Where am I? Who are you? Hey there. How are you feeling? Oh, hello. Oh, Captain Space Boy's back. Hell yeah. I'm Captain Space Boy. It's a pleasure to meet. Ah, my chest! Oh, it's like I just had a super anime fight with four kids! Ugh. Oh no, are you okay? You got a little angry earlier, so we had to beat you with a knife. Ah, I see. My other half must have gotten the better of me. I must apologize. Your actions were likely well justified. I just hope I didn't cause you all too much trouble. I've been having a hard time controlling my emotions lately. I try my best to keep them at bay, but it's becoming much more difficult. Ah, sweetheart. She was the love of my life. It's almost impossible for me to imagine life apart from her. I guess I'm a bit lost. This special mixtape is full of mine and sweetheart's favorite songs. I put so much love into making this for her. Oh yeah, you spent a whole five minutes burning a mixtape. Well done. Thank you all for returning it to me. Eh, it's no problem. Well, not too much anyway. You just go ahead and get some rest. I'm afraid no amount of rest can truly heal a broken heart. Okay, Shakespeare, calm down. I must find another way to get over this. Captain Sp I mean, Space Boyfriend. I am so, so, so sorry, but I have very, very terrible news. Your favorite planet, Pluto, has escaped, and we can't find him anywhere. Don't be mad at us, we're sorry. Please be gentle. Ugh, I don't like the connotations behind that. Wait, there he is! I found him! You don't have to worry, he's right there. It's okay, you two. I'm sure even the planets get bored turning slowly all day. Perhaps Pluto was never meant to be a planet. That's a good way of looking at that. Huh? Really? So you're not angry at us? Do you mean it, Captain- I mean, Space Boyfriend? I sure do. Gather the rest of the crew. Let's go to the frozen lake and get some snow cones without the W. Resting in bed may, may not fix a broken hope. Heart. Hope. Heart. But eating snow cones with friends might help. Also, you don't have to call me Space Boyfriend anymore. I'm Captain Space Boy. Much more professional name, obviously. W wait, does that mean... Woohoo! The captain is back! I can't wait to tell everyone! Let's go, dude! Right behind you, buddy. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. Who knows what would have happened to me and my crew if you all didn't show up. Aw, oh, it was nothing. We're just glad you're feeling like yourself again. You have my thanks. If you ever need anything from me or the space pirates, please don't hesitate to ask. Actually, I can't believe I forgot about this, but we're actually looking for our friend Basil. He wears a flower crown and always carries his photo album on him. Have you seen him around? No, I'm afraid I haven't. But if I do see anything, you'll be the first to know. <sighs> Basil, where could he have gone? <laughs> Ah, please don't cry, little lady. Here, take this. We got a snow cone ticket. We need tickets for snow cones. What a weird world we live in. Uh, here, take this too. We getting a book? We get free knowledge. We got a train pass. Oh, that's actually worth something. I used it to travel around on trains when I was a kid, long before I became a space captain. If even I can go from traveling on trains to flying my own spaceship, I'm sure you'll be able to find your friend. I'm not sure how those things correlate, but I appreciate the, uh, the thought. <laughs> oh, okay. I mustn't keep my crew waiting. Good luck with everything, and thanks again. Wub. <gasps> A key! The letter E! That's gotta be in the, the hangman, right? Let me take a look at that again. Hmm. Yeah, still not sure what that says. What's that hole where the E was? I'm assuming it's just where it was. I don't think there's anything. There's a hole here. Oh, apparently there is. Thanks for mentioning. I felt a cold breeze. And the hole's gone. And I'm assuming this is just a burn mark. Mark of anger and sadness. Every great space captain has to have a fit of rage every now and then. Also, can you play the piano with the other people? Oh, that's a good uh, point, actually. I should check. Let me try the piano. It's a good idea. You can!
best one. Werecat is just like a well of knowledge. That he's getting all the things that I keep forgetting to do. So I should probably save and... Oh, there we go. Hello, everyone. How's the search for Basil going? Well, Mari, it seems that we've taken a little detour. Just trying to help those in need, you know? It's so strange. We've searched all over the place, but we haven't seen a hint of Basil anywhere. Oh, Basil. I wonder where he could have gone. There must be something we're missing. Do you have any leads, Amori? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mari's picnic basket. I would like to save. Thank you very much. Right. It still says prologue, which is weird. I don't know how this is all a prologue. I've played for six hours, but whatever. I think I'm done with this game for a dive. Okay. I guess I'll save again, actually. On second thought.